and welcome to yet another day of Overwatch League 2023 here in APAC. I am Achilles alongside Avril once again, and it is time to conclude the knockouts. I don't have blackout curtains. My face is still lit up, but that's it's it's an expression of my excitement. I'm, I'm lit up because I'm so damn excited to get into these final matches here. We're going to be settling who will be going over to midseason madness. If it wasn't for the fact that I already knew you're in Korea, I'd be questioning what time zone you're in currently because it looks like the sun is up bright and early over towards your eastern direction. But here we are in the east. It's uh, it's the last day of knockouts here before we head into midseason madness. And I mean, this is the one, right? This is where the top two teams, one from each group, finally get to make it in. We have to say goodbye to more teams and we get to finally kind of get to decide who the best teams really are. And uh, there is still one contenders team left in contention and it's not o2 blast and that is the surprising thing yeah we saw o2 blast falling just yesterday a very rough final map for them there on esperanza just kind of disjointed and it looked like the pressure was very much getting to them so they end up falling shy of the mark do not make it into that group b final or instead we'll be seeing the dallas fuel going up against the soul and pearl but that's our second series first let's go ahead and talk about the contenders team that is still in the con in contention yeah. that still can make it to mid-season madness it's the Joe Slayer. It is Dreamers who are able to take down our number one seed in the Guangzhou Charge just yesterday. Now look to do it once again versus the Hangzhou Spark. The Dream is still alive for sure for the Dreamer squad. I mean, this is a team that forms around the fact that Dreamer is the namesake of this squad. It's to keep the Dreamer alive for all the players that still want to make the Overwatch League or return to the Overwatch League. They're going to force their way back in with style and um, taking down the number one seed is certainly a way to go about it. They take Took down one Joe team, but I think another Joe team standing in their way is going to pose a very different problem for this team. I know it'll be interesting to see if they can take down Hangzhou as well. If they can do both of these teams, I mean, this will be likely to say, you know, the most successful contenders team of all time in terms of actually defeating of watching teams. It'll be all three because guess what? Take a look at that lower bracket. G5, they already beat the Salt Dynasty 3-0. Then G9, they beat the Guangzhou Charge 3-1. If they take down Spark as well, here in the final knockout game in G10, they've taken down every single Overwatch League team in the bracket. It's an insane run if they can go ahead and complete it. It's already insane. Let's 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 just go ahead and put that out there as well. Uh, because if they don't make it through, if it is going to be the Hangzhou Spark as our representative at, at MSM, that's still a hell of a run here for Dreamers. Because again, this is not one of those contender teams that is completely and utterly stacked with previous yep. Overwatch talent. They have a couple people there, but for the most part, there's still a lot of new faces. So it is still a staggering result for them to find themselves in this position. On the opposite side, though, in Group B, as we were mentioning, O2 Blast, you know, getting knocked down to that lower bracket by the Soul Infernal after a really close bout. They were fighting to keep themselves afloat, took out Shanghai Dragons on their way, took out Panthera once again, but then were felled by the Dallas Fuel, who just had a really strong performance, a great outing from the yeah. reigning champions just yesterday. And you, you kind of have this inkling of a feeling that, okay, for Dallas Fuel, they've been on the climb ever since we saw them in week one, looking very weak and week to week, they were making make small adjustments. We heard from the post-match interview with Bliss as well, that the team environment is the best it's ever been since the start of the season. Um, and I think that's reflected in their results so far because O2 Blast is not an easy challenge. O2 Blast in that series as well, I think made a couple of blunders, uh, notably around map choices as well, choosing to go into Blizzard World, which was, yeah. sorry, choosing to go to Rialto after Blizzard World, which was uh, quite handedly a loss via Harmon's Diva, and then Rialto was not any easier for the O2 Blast before, as you mentioned, falling short just barely on Esperanza. But now that allows Dallas Fuel to take up the Soul Infernal in another rematch of Bracket B. And they did lose to the Soul Infernal in the upper bracket final, 1-3, to three, and uh, it was a competitive game. It's still very favored for Soul. Uh, one and three in Dallas Fuel just kind of going hand in hand, but they're hoping that they're going to be on the opposite end of that, walking away uh, with the win at at the end of it all so we'll have to just wait and see but first we do get the battle of the pinkish squad streamers i think they, they kind of lean a little bit more into a into a purple but either way they're on the same spectrum as far as color is concerned we're going to see who yep. is coming out on top yeah and i think you know talking about the two different joe teams very different styles different strengths as well um in terms of where the players sit also so not an easy challenge for dreamers and something to really bring up about this team is, as well, is uh, when you look across the contender squads, generally speaking, there's at least two Overwatch League players on the team, if not three. I think one of the teams even has four. So in that regard, it's probably not 
extremely surprising that not just dreamers but other overwatch league squads like some prisoners lot have and no two blasts themselves have taken down some overwatch league teams one of the things about dreamers is both of two out of the three of the overwatch league players are both in tank position so you only see two of them at a time it's easy hunt dreamer or easy hunt liga um both players have played super well i think yesterday in particular i thought liga's uh diva was extremely strong that led to a lot of success for the dreamer side that he played two out of the four maps and both of those maps that he played he won as well um really really strong player on that uh, off tank and i think that's something that dreamers can definitely rely on today and this is the sort of team where you look at the other players dong and missing and spectra as a non owl players who i think have been really impressive moving into this tournament as well so that's where a lot of the strength from dreamers comes from from the, the sort of players that people may be less familiar with Oh, we did see Missin picking a player of the match just yesterday. You know, there was a little bit of discourse, you know, surrounding him versus Liga, but uh, Missin was able to get it, and we heard from him in the interview saying, you know what, we took down one Joe team. Why not a second one? Why can't we do it? And you know what? I agree. Why the hell not? As you can see, we do have some Hangzhou fans here in the audience wanting to see them on a stage, on land, yep. in Korea. And that's what Hangzhou is aiming for, because it's something that has eluded them you know we've had the obviously the, the hawaii tournaments and whatnot but it's it's something that they want to be there in person competing here in some familiar territory here in asia and you know finally get to see a lot of these fans they probably haven't gotten to greet in person get ready to learn korean buddy hopefully anyway <laughs> that's the hunter spark that's what they're hoping for is they get the over towards Kintex and certainly true i think with your, your statement true for players that are not called shy or gushray because those two players at least they got to play midseason madness they got to go to playoffs last year in la yes. it's the other guys that have been you know from the Chengdu side leave monk or Langston from valiant last year these are the players that didn't get a chance to go anywhere Chengdu missed out on midseason madness last year they missed out on the playoffs in fact i don't think Chengdu played realistically in uh, well they certainly did play in any in internationals but even domestically in the stages um yeah Chengdu never really made it super far so they never really had too much of a shot to take Precisely. any title any of the four titles last year this is for the first time in a, in a year in a long year it feels like especially for leave who did so well in 2021 a return to form and i think hangzhou you saw some of the best of hangzhou last week when they got that reverse sweep versus the guangzhou charge and that really speaks well to hangzhou's strength coming into this uh, final certainly does we'll go ahead and zoom in though on our honest is obviously you know monk very known quantity we know what kind of numbers he can put up has been incredibly consistent throughout his entire career mason is kind of the new kid on the block who did have a very strong performance again earning player of the match just yesterday yeah and uh, mason you know he fair enough he had some decent individual plays yesterday i think things will need to be stepped up a little bit even further today far away i think on the opposite end when Missing was up against the Guangzhou Charge, Farway also had a very good performance. And I felt in the earlier two maps, Farway actually had a better performance. Missing started heating up towards the end. Um, Monk's going to be another very difficult Ana play to go up against. And, you know, we'll be able to compare those stats a little bit later on. Question out there was, are we going to be seeing first to fall today? A little bit of BO7 nope. action. The answer to that question is, yeah, we are. I mean, We're going to go quite a long distance. Well, maybe not, Achilles. I mean, we'll see if we go, how far we go into the series. Well, Dream is going to have to pull out something special here, or maybe Hangzhou, because Hangzhou, perhaps known to be late, late starters, have to go for that reverse sweep versus the charge. Before that, they went o they went down 0-3 versus the charge, and, well, charge did fall to the streamer squad, so Hangzhou's going to have to make sure they don't have any sore starts at the beginning, no false starts. So a couple of early maps. This team has also kind of shifted around their compositions as well. They're not just playing the Tracer Sombra Dive anymore. We saw Shy come through with a lot of decent Hanzo in their charge match as well, which was part of the reason why they got that reverse sweep. So, Angzhou, yep, still evolving throughout the tournament. So I hear first to four, first to four, and I continuously think about, you know, our original setup and back in like 2018 and whatnot, where it's just like four maps played no matter what. And I'm like, I want to reject that from my brain. I want to pretend that that's not, <laughs> that, that never happened. But here we are. Four maps it's only. Yeah, it is going to be a best of four. Uh, so could go the distance. We could see a full seven map series. And, you know, this is, you know, again, somewhat newer territory for a lot of the players on the side of Dreamers as well. Have they really played in matches that could go on yep. this long? Do they have the endurance to be able to persevere against the veterans on the side of the Hangzhou Spark? We're about to find out as the gates has opened up here on Oasis, kicking things off on Garden. And the pressure is on now. You're in a knockout final versus seven, BO7 here. For Dreamers coming through on the Ryan Comp. 
or garden spark playing their normal dive this is the default composition nothing special from the spark so far but they are going to be late onto the point as they're just gonna wait for point to unlock no need to rush this one through shine needs to do some advanced scouting to find dive targets for leave and gushway to land on Monk playing very disconnected from the rest of the squad. Should they be able to get on top of him? That could be very dangerous, but Leva's already found him missing in the back line. Taking down the player of the match from their opposite series. Now, Easy Han as well. Going to be felled. Leave starting to pop off. We were wondering, what sleeve are we going to be seeing here today? Took them a while to warm up in their last set to get them here into this final. Versus the Guangzhou charge, but so far, very good. That's already going to be at 70% towards that pulse bomb, and Hangzhou Spark grabbed the point first and foremost. Talk about disjoined as well. Dreamer dropped to the low ground. I believe he went chasing after Monk. The wall came down from Spectro. Perhaps to try and lock in Monk so that Dreamer would get that kill. But the fact that it actually locks out Dreamer from helping the rest of the team and that allows the backline to be taken apart. Spark, patient, took their time. Didn't allow the point to be capped over for Dreamers. And now they'll try and maintain that slight alt lead. 61% for Shy is decent. They couldn't be forced to recall. Pulse Bomb nearly built up here for him. As Mission tries to stay alive. He's pushing up, getting up into Gucci's face. Bubble going to be broken down. He continues to go lower and lower. But looks at like the healing. Doesn't manage to come through. Pulse Bomb this time not going to find the kill. But Lee will still be able to get missed in the back end. Shy with some headshots across to take down Spectra. Good damage being dealt. Dreamer's just now desperately trying to pull back where before they were occupying the point. Now it's a full retreat. But Dreamer's still going to get caught up for an added bit of stagger here onto the tank. Yeah. That's a huge stagger as well because just as Easy Han revives. Dreamer goes down. That's about the maximum stagger you could hope for. And the worst part about this for Dreamers is they're locked in for this composition for a little bit. I mean, they're kind of stuck on this one. Once you lose two fights, your ultimates are starting to be built up. No one's below 60% here for Dreamers, so they'll be giving up quite a lot if they change. They're going to have to lock in for at least one more fight, if not two. Big EMP. Yeah, EMP finding three. Immortality field was thrown down, but still the damage is going to be good on the back end. Looks like Tonton actually wasn't sat inside of it, so ends up getting taken down. Missing and Easy Han both now falling to the hands of Shy, as it's just going to be a complete and utter extended team wipe with Dreamer dying last. 80%. It's final fight territory. Double support ults here for the side of the Hangzhou Spark. You can tell the Dreamers are just not comfortable in this composition to play up against this level of dive on this map now where they're falling behind. Shadow opportunity here. Opportunity to do a lot actually for Dreamers and, and they have to find all these ultimate Spectra still lagging by 15%. Spark get aggressive. Oh, in. Just getting dove on. Does use the immortality kill sound barrier. Has to be used just to get themselves over on to the point where they will be able to get the touch and force out the overtime. Now they have the inside track. Is he Han going to be slept? Shield comes up. Dreamer keeps him protected. The flip is there. Dreamers get themselves on the board for the first time. The Ant Matrix comes in from missing as well. In on the Gooshway, they take him low. They freeze him. They manage to take him down. Is he Han? Set up for the kill there by Spectra. For now, with the tank gone, Hangzhou Spark might have to respect Dreamers a little bit more. And we'll get the sleep as a parting gift here on the Dreamers. Stop any further aggression, but Monk will still die on the back end. Well, it's a decent pin. I mean, that pin puts Gushui into the corner, out of LOS from Monk. So no healing, no support available for Gushui, no Primal, no Nano. All the ultimates run dry for the Spark. And that's the fight you'd expect the Dreamer should be to pull something through on. Gets a little bit expensive there, cost them three ultimates, one of which has to be used very early on the sound barrier just to allow them to rotate safely onto the point they cap it soon as well so they'll at least be able to sort of play through the shadow oh, and the dead blossom they lose a member yeah, taken down immediately now the emp on the back end here anti out on the dreamer and the shatter just not even gonna get the opportunity to use it at all it's a team kill the flip very much the round going to the hands of hangzhou spark good little run back there from dreamers where it looked like they were going to get 100 to zero but unfortunately yep. cannot hold it for too much longer he wants all they get will go into the second round to see if they can extend this to three of oasis you can tell that you know spectra no interest in even trying to save that point they didn't swap the tracer didn't swap the sombra they know it's over not enough members would have respawned anyway for dreamers so they have to accept their losses i think that was uh unfortunately the only real shot for dreamers to take that round away in my opinion was to win the opening neutral not have miss and die in the uh early exchange but once the alt machine for the hunger spark starts rolling through they won every single fight in bar one. Huge amount of pressure when Spark can just sort of chill early on, wait for the point to unlock. Shy calls the dive through the cloak. Very little that Dreamers can do to survive there, except, you know, try and force away Shy and force away Goose around the dive. And once they get snowballed, very difficult for that Ryan comp to come back. We're going to see the match now, though. As we go into mirrored composition territory, Spectre over onto the Tracer and see how he fares. This has been. Pretty exciting matchup in theory. We'll see how they're going to perform versus Leave. 
him now. Hongzhou Spark again, looking to just kind of disconnect that anti connects onto both of the support line. They desperately want to get the kills here on the side of Dreamers, but unable to find him so far. Hongzhou Spark, however, still backpedaling, staying together as a unit. Shy occupies the point in time being. Looks just harassed from the flank. Dong Hanau are going to be the first one to fall, but now Monk going to be taken down. Gushui as well. Feld Lengza eliminated, leaving just the DPS players here on the side of the Hangzhou Spark. Leave with all of his magic on this Tracer. I don't know how much he's going to be able to get done, and the answer is going to be nothing. Spectre will just go ahead and pop him on the nose. Cap was there initially for the Hangzhou Spark. They're going to lose it very quickly. Strong change of pace there, and the pace really for me starts with the missing Byronade onto the back line of the Spark. Really forces them to be defensive early on. I think okay. Shy was the only one that did not go down there as well. So he's still sitting on zero deaths from uh, also the previous round going to this one. He's the only one that made it out alive in that early fight. Look at the nano difference. The missing already sitting on that. Monk still trailing. Yeah. And even with the early pick there on the easy hunt, Hung Joe Spark haven't really gotten themselves onto the point. Nano now going to be invested. Goes over towards Dreamer, but the sleep dart will be good. Monk's putting him down for a nice little nap. Spectra grasses around the back side. Pulse bomb goes across, but can I saw a Gushway? It's not low enough. To actually, find the kill and they get the follow up hack, and Shine will take him down. Big Anti goes across, managing to find three. Things are getting whittled away at. Goes lower and lower, but looks like he will be able to survive. EMP now going to be used to solo over on a Dreamer, but does set up for the kill. 42% right now for the side of Dreamers. As Hunter Sparks still look to get this flip. For now, the point going to be unoccupied. Easy Han pops in there for a brief little moment. Just trying to delay. Now the EMP comes across. Shine gets caught up, gets taken down. Easy Han finding the kill. Way to follow a pack target, but does persevere, does survive. Now is Nano, now has the primal. He's looking to threaten with lead diving into the back line. They will be able to find Missin. Monk down to about half HP. Gushui, however, threatening, finds Stonghen, and that's going to be both the supports taken away from the side of Dreamers. Point has been flipped. Spark in control, now moving up to 24%. Dreamers likely going to have to go oh. for a bit of a reset, especially as Dreamer dies. Yeah, Lengs a low HP there. If he goes down, that would have been potential for comeback on Dreamer's side. Dreamer could have popped the primal there as well. But maybe not. Was he hacked for just briefly enough moments from not to go for the primal? Could have been the case. Speaking yeah. of hacks early on, we saw the early EMP from Shy, a respectable solo EMP, because Dreamer got caught out on about 98% charge there. So if Dreamer doesn't get caught by the EMP and doesn't die, they wouldn't have been forced to go for an EMP retake. They would have been able to hold on to point the entire way through. It's now we equalize 50 and 50. Oh, the pulse bomb got damaged, but Rally used. Don't win now. Having that for the fight. Gushway goes in with the Primal Rage, just looking to juggle them around. Green HP still getting pushed out here, keeping Mistin alive in particular. Pulse Bomb Stick now goes across it with the anti in. They cannot save Gushway, he's been taken down. Hangzhou Spark holding the lead for now, still have not surrendered this point quite just yet, but Dreamers, feel like they should be able to persevere here. Shy will be eliminated. Spectre find the kill, Dongun gets the better of Langzat, now Monk is gone. Dreamers will be able to convert this into a point flip. Super strong performance by Spectre there. Finds the Pulse Bomb onto a sleeping Gushui off the sleep dot of Missin. And beyond that, then gets the solo onto Shy as well, taking down his translocator. Interesting decision by Gushui, by the way, to pop Primal, then direct that Primal over towards Dreamer. Would have felt like, you know, find the backline first, forget about Dreamer, go for Dongan and Missin. And that would have been the winning play. Both our EMPs look to become available in the following fight. Nano online for Missin. Uncle will have his very soon. This has to be defensive by Spark now. Super aggressive here on the side of Dreamers. Sleep is across. They're going to try to set up the kill on the lead, but it's just not enough damage. They can't do enough. Now the EMP right into the bases. The support line broken down. Shy. Gushui, however, will fall, so it's potentially winnable. EMP on the back end. Nano invested from Monk to try to keep Nano Langsat alive. Pulse bomb across. Monk will fall. It's a bloody brawl back and forth, but Leave is doing God's work right now for the side of the Hangzhou Spark. Found Dreamer as well. Working themselves back over the point. 95% at the moment here for the side of Dreamers as they still wait for the namesake tank to go ahead and respawn, get himself back into the action. Easy Han buys a little bit more time, but the flip is going to be coming through. Now it's going to be final fight territory for either side. Sorry, stalls more, I should say, from Easy Han there. Just tries to slow it down slightly further. Force the 99 to come through for Dreamers. So they're definitely in the lead now. It's a good lead, but it's 99% coming online for the Spark as leave. well. Miss Pulse Bomb, sadly, from Leave. We want that one back. On either side. The rally, however, from Rally's Dolman. coming on. Yeah, very close to having that one online. That could be the make or break to try to extend this into a third and final round of University. Rally at the ready, pops it instantly. Turns his sights over, gets some of the Gushway. The anti comes across, and Spectra's there for the follow up. They managed to burn him down. Looks for a little bit more. Monk now getting jumped on. Dreamer trying to keep him honest. The flip getting ready to come back through. Hangzhou contested right at the very last second, but Easy Han manages to isolate and kill off Monk. Now down to support. They occupy the point. The flip is there. It's on the Hangzhou Spark down to try to keep things contested. It's whittling away, and they just cannot get no. the touch. Lang's a, a <laughs> second too late. And that means that we are going to University to see who is taking this first map. I think as soon as Gushui dies, things look really die because he was slightly close to the Primal for the Hangzhou Spark. And 
this is why I gotta give props to Missin, because, uh, you know, I, to, right now, just over these two rounds, I felt like he's starting off hot on the back end of where Missin left off yesterday's matchup versus the charge. A decent number of Bionades connecting, especially the early one that we saw into Monk and Lengsa. I mean, this will be the fight, right? Early neutral that connects on the Monk and Lengsa really puts the pressure on the Spark, and further beyond that, lots of sleep darts, lots of further Bionades onto Gushrei, especially the one towards the end that actually managed to get that kill onto Gushrei. So, I mean, that kind of pressure is real. Monk's also been hitting some decent sleep darts, but we'd like to see at least coming through the neutral a much quicker nano charge because Missin had that nano way too quickly compared to where Monk was. On the back of our honor the brawl, but University definitely lends itself to this playstyle more so than we saw on Garden. Now we will have to contend with Shy on this Hanzo. Can break down that Ryan shield very quickly. Missin early anti out onto him, but good damage. Keep Shy honest, pushes him back. The streamer gets himself up on the high ground, boosted off the May wall. But now he's getting overwhelmed and has to drop back down immediately. Barrier nearly broken. Points on lock though. So Spark have to come to the table. They want a seat and they will give that one up for now. Music stops and it's dreamers that are sitting on that on that seat and for the Spark. Oh. Get the contest at all. Shy's down. I mean Spectre just two quick shots in the Shy's chest. Easy Han has the follow-up. Immortality field gonna be burned out, but the Reaper looking to get themselves on top of Monk. Leave, however, what is he doing? How does he come up with that? Bolt support's now gonna be taken down. Immediately now Easy Han and Spectre are dead as Lee finds himself a third of the fight. Dreamer will be felled. Whew. And Whoa. while they have the initial pickoff, while well, it looks good, they have the cap. Somehow Hangzhou Spark quickly turn it on its head off the back of Leave. I mean, that's very similar to what we saw from Leave on Oasis versus Guangzhou Charge last week as well in that reverse sweep. He basically handles the charge in a fight. I think it was on University it as well. It was on University. Yeah, he just has that huge clutch up play. They're down. Looks like the spark of loss. And Leave just comes through Solo's backline. We saw a couple of assists on that kill feed as well. So it wasn't just Leave by himself. So enough damage here. Pulse available. I'm missing that one for the Moira. Just caught that one. They're all just death fall together, and yep, listen, gonna get Goomba stopped. Now Dreamer taken down. Everybody just clumped into the damage, just rips them to pieces. It's gonna be a very swift cleanup. The team kill comes through. Hangzhou Spark holding the line, the pulse bomb, not even needing to find value. There's the Ford Mega Pack gonna be hacked out here as Shy goes on yet another scouting mission, tries to build the EMP. I mean, it's almost better that the pulse bomb doesn't get a kill there because it just spreads a little bit of damage, puts the Dreamer's team down, and allows the rest of the squad to build up their own ultimates by getting the actual final blows and kills. The damage in there, speaking of which, Shy just takes down Missing easily. Oh, making him live up to the name. Out of the fight. Squishway just looks for some further cleave targets. Kramer completely isolated, knocked forward, ends up getting picked off by Leave. The fight victory with a barrier and an EMP still in the back pocket here for the side of the Hangzhou yep. Spark. And no overcommitment there as well. You're going to Squishway notice he's only got two seconds left on the Primal. He's not going to go towards spawn. Just take down Dreamer. It's enough. You're still building up other ultimates. It's fine. This will be a big EMP if Shy goes for it now, but... They need to be able to dive in here as well. Oh, don't run. Hacked dead. Now final fight here for Hangzhou Spark. One more win. This should be theirs. And they know he's got sound barriers off the next fight. They would have scouted that from the hack. Shatter whip. That's uh, you know, yeah, a bad shatter. Absolutely nothing. Now the beat used just to, I don't know, to rush forward and kill off the rest of the people here. Thanks to just leading the charge. They will just go ahead and tear them to shreds. Team kill. No chance at a touch. A very one-sided affair on University. Even with the comp being a little bit more emboldened by this map, they cannot find footing. Hangzhou Spark sweep them off their feet. They take the round. They take the map. A 2-1 victory to kick things off. And I don't think it was wrong for Dreamers to go back over towards the Ryan for University. You can look at Gardens and say, okay, maybe not the best Ryan map there. Viable, but versus the Hangzhou Spark, the dive was just a little bit too strong. Come back stronger onto City Center where the dive versus dive a much better look for the Dreamer squad. And go back over towards the Ryan 4 University where I mean that is a decent Ryan map. However, once Hangzhou Spark, they identify this is not gonna be any sort of a Winston Mirror, Shy, he can go back over towards the Sombra, doesn't have to stay on the Hanzo trying to break the Ryan Shield, can play on the back line, hack targets down. The dive pressure was so strong, and what a final hack into the final fight. Manual hack onto Dongun. Take him down with leave and toe as well. Coming in for the assist and all for Dreamers. Have to fight 4v5 and there's just very little they can do there. Well, a brutal awakening here for Dreamers after, you know, somewhat rosy start in the second round. Let's see how they fare though, because this is going to be now moving into their map pick for hybrid here in this best of seven matchup. So we'll see who is going to be able to come out on top. 
whether or not Dreamers are going to be able to answer back with a nice little reply. Because it looked good in the mirror, so maybe they just opt in for something like that, or maybe they try to knock Gushbei out of the starting lineup uh, and bring Liga back in. We'll have to just wait and see what happens. So for now, we're going to go to a quick little break. When we return, we'll see what the map pick is going to be, whether or not Dreamers can get the job done, so don't go anywhere. And we are back in one map here into this first of four series between the Hangzhou Spark and Dreamers. Hangzhou Spark able to take the first map of Oasis under their belt, lock in that initial win. Now there's three more to go, and they will be making it to the midseason madness. Dreamers, though, looking alive at times. Second round in particular was good for them on City Center. We're able to extend us to university, but as they opted to go back into the Brawl Comp, they were just dismantled piece by piece by Hangzhou yet again. I think this is the stage of the game where dreamers have to start considering whether they want to go back to the Ryan comp or not. I think it's, you know, understandable why they would choose that for university. It is the brawl composition map. It gives the excuse for Tata Hangzhou Spark to go back to their very comfortable Sombra Tracer dive. And this is why I say it's a very different look compared to Charge because Charge is more of a Hanzo Tracer Winston. I wouldn't call them. I, I dare to say a one trick team. 
you go over towards looking at the spark just a completely different uh, style altogether in terms of how heavy the dive is as so we see the difference in Tracer here now granted 100 spectra didn't play cash. that spectra didn't play that much tracer he played one match. tracer only on city center then may the rest of the time through so of the three rounds he spent only one third of the game time on oasis playing tracer whereas lee played tracer the entire way through and the 100 percent pulse bomb attach rate i don't i remember the pulse bombs on city center was one pulse onto a sleeping goose ray and maybe another pulse elsewhere that would be about it yeah. very yeah. similar in terms of final blows it's quite interesting um but the the 1.6 deaths on leave is is quite incredible when you look at that stat line yeah i mean again this is all per 10 minutes so obviously leave with a longer exposure time it's going to kind of whittle away at them so it does make sense that they're going to be somewhat balanced in those regards but it still does show a, a very good performance from spectra overall but the biggest thing is you know 1.6 deaths across those three rounds leave was just an absolute unkillable menace not only just unkillable, but uh, clutch factor as well, turning fights around in losing situations, which I don't think Spark had that many of across University and Gardens. It was mostly City Center that looked a little bit more frail. And the choice now for King's Row, which is actually a, not a very good Tracer Sombra map, especially on A. A is going to be, I suspect Shy is going to go Hanzo here. So you're going to force Hanzo off of their Tracer Sombra for sure on King's Row. I don't believe there were any substitutions. Yep. On Liga for now, and that was an option for Dreamers of, say, you know, go to Blizzard World, do a little bit of Harmon gameplay, go towards the Diva. Possibly you would have forced 20 to come on in. I still think that's something that's possible later on. Uh, watch out for map number five. If we get to map number five and it is Dreamers pick, I think they should go to Ilios because that's where Liga can come in, and you'd probably be forcing 20 to come in for the Spark as well, which is not the most ideal situation for the spark because you'd like to see gushway remain in the roster but it's uh let's a teaser for later on if we do make it a map live and if dreamers have the map choice otherwise i think spark will stay away from Ilios. king's row though yeah this will be the opportunity for uh either like the potential for the ryan to come back even though i don't know if that'd be completely smart for dreamers or at least a change of pace where easy han can go over towards the the hanzo to try and match jimmy from yesterday and today i'll be matching shy all righty let's see what we do get pieced together here Wait for the clock to tick down and it looks like it might just end up being yet another you know fairly close mirror right now langs are showing us the lucio to begin you can always swap off of that i'm most likely going to be the brig instead there it is and no early uh sniping from spawn to be fair you're not going to get too much value off that anymore gone are the days of kai sniping out a jumping violet batiste to throw back no real tp plays uh, as well okay. i don't know how that happens that's an insane kill wow yeah not too certain no assist tagged onto it either this is just is that a three tap here's the, here's the three tap the trace i'm pretty sure no is it a... uh, you know your guess is as good as mine either way hangzhou spark are getting their second tick on the point that's 35 seconds into the round is just now going to be coming through it is a two tap okay well lob out Monk not finding too much value there, but Easy Han going to be forced off the high ground. 76.7% are going to be built up here onto the point. Dreamer having to leap away. They do get a nice reveal here through the hotel. This way, so going to be kept nice and healthy here by Monk and Langza. Monk, speaking of which. Okay, does get taken down. It costs the Spectre, though. Shy gets the headshot. Dreamer now eliminated. And even without one of their healers, even without leave, it feels like, yeah, Hangzhou will be able to just go ahead and push through and get this cap in the end. Shy stopping. Letting Missin try to drift oh, wow. over into his crosshair, but not quite going to happen. But it's still going to be a 515 time bank as they can begin to push. And this is a catastrophe. To be fair, Hanzo is, uh, it gets a little bit weird when you, the other player's actively dodging, and then at that point, you know, you wish the projectiles were a little bit quicker. I think a lot of the early pressure does come through from the fact that Monk just solos uh, Spectra, and it's, it's a weird kill. And sure, you do have to hit him twice, but during that time, it's damage over time. Spectra could easily recall out. Get a little bit of healing, do something. So it's a really strange death. Hunter Sparker rapidly building towards ultimates. Once again, the missing does match. Yeah, perhaps we'll see it in a future replay package. Either way, for now, we're going to look at a hold the line. He's locked in the position here. Nano going to be used to try to keep him alive through that pulse bomb out from Lee. Pulse bomb from Spectre as well. Not going to be finding too much value. Here we're into the back line with the primal rolling. Just get the knock away the healers, but no kills are going to be found. And in the meantime, Leap gets himself into the back line. Manages to find Donghan. 
Maybe we'll finally be able to strike him down, but now Easy Han will join him in the grave. So that's two members gone, just the one for the class of running back speed. To the side of the Hanko Sparks, so I think they're going oh, to be pretty. Oh, he was missing. Oops, okay. Sleep Dart there. Misses still having to backpedal Dragon Strike, so really force them all the way back over towards C behind point B. And the cart can yeah. continue to glide forward. I would have said the Dragon Strike is maybe a little bit too aggressive there. Um, okay, you force the Dreamer side back, but this isn't the important fight yet because the payload is not close enough to actually confirm the cap. Decent pressure onto Dreamer nonetheless. Force him to go backwards. And now the counter Dragon Strike from Easy Hunt. I think Chai just had screwed up build of another one fast enough. Quarter of the way there, but yeah, answering Dragon Strike here from Easy Han just to try to give themselves a little bit of breathing room. So they force Han to spark back a little bit. They get a bit of a foothold here around point B. Fever comes down off the top rope, is instantly knocked Ooh. to 60. Bash around, stunned, and killed off. And just like that, Dragon Strike seems a lot less necessary. Even though Shy is already halfway there. And next shield will be coming through for the anti oh, draws and the round is nice and early. Missing gonna be taken down. Spectre able to find one with the pulse bomb. Gets sort of laying up, but just not nearly enough. Cap comes through 445 as we begin the final stretch. That was insane. Langster and Dongan obviously both shield bash each other. They both fall to the floor. But way more pressure coming through from Spark. They have the extra main tank from Gushua as well. I and believe both Missing and Dongan were also, and that's the kill that Shy won a little bit earlier for me. And I both believe both Dongan and Missing were both bionated as well. So Dongan instantly melted there. <laughs> Shy's just getting zapped, but he just does not care. Yeah, yeah my focus is on that, easy uh, on. They transfer that damage over into healing for at this stage Lynx because Monk already has an Anna. Force up the high ground for a brief moment. Jumps straight back up. Ready to challenge as soon as he alerts Monk and says, hey, just keep your pocket. And Monk says, all right. Good way now. Gonna be down and up. Goes over towards the spawn. Sleep Dart connects on the Dreamer into the back line. But they only have the lethal damage to try to take him out because the Nano is rolling and he also has a Primal on his back pocket. So, he's threatened the Winston quite just yet. But oh, another what a stick. stick. Lee finds Song Hun, takes him down. Dreamer now using the Primal into the back line, trying to disrupt. You can see Lang's HP bar getting bounced around just a little bit as Lee looks for another target. There's a sight to over towards Dreamer, which is threatening him down. Dreamer will get the better of Gooch in the end, but not before Missing gets eliminated as well. Making sure that these supports can't Ooh, play together, but Spectra. Spectra, what a pulse bomb. Might just save them here on the defense. A double kill, something that we rarely see these days. Gets both of the supports, leave nowhere to go. Stay still, allows for Spectra to fight a third. It's a massive opening to go ahead and give them a little bit more stability. That's humongous from Spectra after the early loss. Uh, leave sticking Dongan down, five versus four. Dream of Trace, Gushui, which is really decent. That actually puts a lot of pressure on the Spark, but it will be Spectra that closes the door on the Spark officially for that fight. Make sure that they have to go for the full respawn here, the full reset. Three minutes left to go, still a decent amount of time, but they lack the ultimates. Once again, they just have to slowly build up. Kushray taking a bunch of damage, but we'll transfer that over towards Monk. Catch up. And catch up to Missing here, who is ahead, given that he stayed alive and Monk died, so that's not surprising. Shots across, easy on. Getting tagged down, getting that Spectre treatment from Monk. Just a really take him out solo. Forces him back. Dragon Strike gonna be coming through. Anti over on the He's gonna pop the rally in desperation, trying to stay alive. Dreamer as well. Whittle away at was Anti. He will be able to persevere and allow for Missing to get that Nano Boost up here just slightly ahead of Monk. Rally now gonna be expiring from the side of Langsa. Dongan really having one of his own. Nano's in. Stick goes so across. Missing gonna be taken down. Dreamer gonna be Anti'd out and he can't use the primal. Leave. Manages to kill him off just before he would be able to do so. Pulls bomb into the back this time. However, Spectre not gonna be able to find the stick. Cannot get that elimination. Just right now, we're taken down. Easy on with a nice headshot. Does fine. Leave the man advantage is going to be there as well as pass or run back support the side of Dreamers. So they will continue to hold the line. A little over half the time bank now going to be drained away. Two minutes remaining for the side of the Hangzhou Sparks. They continue to lose out members. And they cannot afford to have these daggers. And it seems like every single time Spark gains some sort of advantage, they want to push forward. They get traded. And that's the really upsetting part for the attacking end. Gushui can't stay alive long enough. Doesn't quite have the primal yet either. That would have been the perfect time to use it in the previous fight. Dreamer didn't get a chance to, but Gushui didn't even have one up, sadly. So for the Spark, despite all the Leaves' efforts to get consistent sticks on the back line, he can't convert that into real player advantage without somebody like Spectra, or in this case, Easy Han turning it back around. Dragon strike through, Easy Han climbs up over the top of it, just splits across a couple of the people there, but Easy Han goes up over the top with his Storm Arrows and does manage to headshot Shy. Takes him down Gushui now as well, being pressured out, being pushed away from his supports, and he doesn't want to have to use the Primal here. Waits it out, gets that leap off cooldown, manages to make his way back out to safety, but now a minute remaining. This has been fantastic time buying from Dreamers. It's even better due to the fact that there's three ultimates online for Dreamers. Aggressive Primal, though. Okay, more Dreamers will have to lock in his fight with it. 
Pops the final to try to persevere and stay alive, and he does so, and now the cleanup is looking great. Ling's a dead, shy, gone. Spectra is on the hunt, looking for another target here. Looks like will be able to slink his way back into the spawn room and keep himself alive. Leave as well, tucked into the corner. There is a problem, stay though. Safe. The issue here is that Dream has spent three ultimates for that, and Spark managed to save three ultimates, so there is going to be a slight ultimate advantage. Given that Don't miss it, about to catch up here, that slight ultimate advantage is not going to be as huge as it could have been. But Halo Distance is slipping backwards, so even if Spark wins this fight with three ultimates, they still have one more fight left to play through. And Primal now out from Dushway. Sleep Dark from missing, not connecting. Shine finds Spectra. A nice early kill to kick things off, and now the anti nade from Monk managing to find both supports. Don't let him miss, and both gonna be taken down. Obviously, they will have an opportunity, they will have a chance to recontest this one, but Easy Khan is a little bit of a later death, so will not be there for the rest of the four members as they are now respawned. This is what I'm talking about. Final fight, right? Still one more to go through. Leave and Monk with the ultimates online. Missing has Hold something to follow through with, but Dongan's down again. Absolutely monstrous. Easy Han now swapping over to the Widowmaker. The, the Nano's gone! But Easy Han's dead! The Widowmaker finding no value whatsoever. Shy just headshots him. Sleep Dart in. No one can touch. Dreamer a little bit too late to try to tag in. It's going to be an overtime push, but they make it to the end. So at least extra innings will be there if Dreamers can have a successful push. Oh my god, I'm going to have to check the gameplay footage again, but I'm pretty sure Missin applies the Nano to Dongan, but not in time to actually save him. There was a slight, you know, uh, just a few frames in there with a Pulse Bomb that gets the kill. It's not going to be this fight. This will be the double kill from Spectra. So this is definitely... I thought it would have been a shield dash from Monk diving into Monk. Sorry, a shield dash from Lanks diving into Monk, but no, they just stacked up together. I just watched it back. You're absolutely Happens. right. The nano was used on the Donghun, but the pulse bomb exploded before he could get empowered by it. So ends yeah. up getting taken so, down, and that is catastrophic. Yeah, absolutely, because now you lose... Um, you lose both ultimates, really, because Donghun used the rally a little bit earlier, and then you lose the only other ultimate that would have saved you here. I mean, you... Dude, the nano would have been so important. So, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the nano should have been applied. There was Dongan maybe too far away. I'm trying to... No, he was right. He was standing very close to Missin. So the difference maker could have been the fact that Dongan was about 50 HP down. Lost his armor already. Got bionated. So the, the healing factor from the nano doesn't apply. And... I think that's enough. Yeah, if you do the yep. maths out, 150, you with that nano on, that gives you a 300 effective HP. That's not enough to survive. That's, that's correct, yeah. So, that'll do it. The 50 HP difference is what it takes. The nano did apply, but dies anyway. An unfortunate set of circumstances there for the side of Dreamers, but now this push is in their hands, and if they can finish with a decent time bank, it could force a Hangzhou Spark into a draw position. Let's see if they can get it done. For now, they will begin the push. Spectra again getting tagged low, but he's doing a decent amount of damage. A third of the way towards that pulse bomb. We've seen just how important they are right now in establishing footholds to keep yourself in the fight. Supports corral together. Dreamer, Dreamer taking a slept. nap. And, oh, yeah. I mean, it's just everybody in the kitchen sink throwing a Dreamer to find the kill, but they will also be able to answer back. They're on to Gushway. Easy on find Shy. Deal with Leaf. Deal with one of the supports. Should be in with a pinch to go ahead and get this cap. Leaf doing his damage. Dashing around. Recalls out. Trying to track him down. Still playing elusively, but now with nowhere else to go, he will end up falling, and Dreamers will get themselves here onto the point. We'll see if there can be a retake here. Gushro finally respawns, but Monk is a little late. Leaves not going to be part of the retake if they do go they for it. it. Gushro is trying to position himself, but I think he knows oh. it's too late. Yeah, yeah it's too late. Very for similar sure. time bank to start things off. A fantastic take. Oh, he's dead, man. Yeah, and they get the punish. Wow. Too far forward. I mean, he was in position. It seemed like Spark were not sure if they wanted to retake or not, because. Gushua was gearing up for it. He was putting himself in a position where he was thinking about leaping in. Then as the team decides, no, don't go for it. Don't do this. He's already too far up. He burns the bubble. Possibly the jump was gone as well. And Easy Khan just runs in. Easy Khan's been playing pretty monstrously on the Hanzo today. And, and given the fact that Spark typically get these first bloods, Easy Khan responds in kind of me. This guy's been able to turn fights around where Dreamers are down four to five. Missed there on the pulse bomb. Could have had a two for one special yet again from Spectre. Leaf going to be dumping his. Does find Easy Han. The pressure peeled off his dreamer. Nano's going to expire. He's still in a bad spot. And Leaf manages to hound him down for a second kill in the fight. Card for now has to be abandoned by the rest of dreamers. Pulling back. And that allows for Hangzhou Spark to push forward up here towards this choke point and try to hold the line. Oh, Missing. Nice from Dolman's going to die too. 
we're gonna need a bit of an update i think at the end of the map is uh in terms of what the stick rate for leave is because at the end of oasis what was it, like 16 percent not really the best but still an effective tracer nonetheless this time around though it feels like every other pulse bomb has been a stick from leave super consistent on king's row so far leave has been i think the factor for the spark to get these early picks which I've alluded to in terms of talking about both Easy Han and Spectre's ability to get those trades while Easy Han's down. So he's not going to get the trade. Very swiftly dealt with. Rally rolling. Missing going to be anteed out. That green HP is only going to do so much. Don't win stunned up as Langsa pops his own rally. Hits him with the shield. Now now expiring. Trying to persevere. Dreamer's going to be using that primal as his huge way. Dragon strike from Shy to try to clear things out and split the team apart. It does. Nolan trying to dash his way through it but ends up falling to the damage. As the cleanup comes through, it's going to be an extended team kill. Three minutes, 20 seconds now remaining. Already two minutes shoot up off this time bank. You can see the difference in dive targeting from the Spark here as well. Previously, Spark would mostly go for backline. So I'm going to miss him with the obvious targets. It's normally what you do in a dive combo. But since Easy Han's been really pulling through in terms of damage and frags, Leave has gone for Easy Han twice in a row. Easy Han's been the first death twice in a row. In terms of spark targeting so they definitely traded in well, terms of where their pressure is but this time leave will just spot a solo dongan free picking yeah yeah opportunistic kill catches him on the flank missing will be able to find one shy taken down by spectre as well so they are fighting back through this despite the early pick off onto their brigade up it's not under a little bit of pressure man just pull back away falls so very low is desperately trying to track leave good, good healing that one will be able to get gooch though much more simple target for him Gets leave over the top of the cart, and now they can start pushing. But so much time bought, and Hangzhou Spark, they should be able to recontest this in front of B. And that was incredible pocketing coming through from the supports of Dream, as Easy Hall was down to, like, what, 20 HP? 20, yeah. Still stayed alive. Dream even dropped the bubble for him. They did everything to bodyguard Easy Hall to keep him alive, and for good reason, staying alive there, did a ton of damage, and got the frags in. Now Dream is starting to actually get some distance on B. This has been a difficult point capture for oh, them. Dreamer, that oh, he just arrow. couldn't get out. That final arrow sealed the deal. Had he not been tagged by that one, Lee probably doesn't get the kill on the healing through, but it's probably enough. But once again, they move the cart forward, but now they have to backpedal. I just don't think Dreamer needed to be that far forward. I mean, he was all the way on the high ground on C while his team was solo pushing, or just pushing in general, not necessarily solo. But yeah, I mean, there is some LOS from the healers. I mean, if you are missing, you can still spot Dreamer. But at the same time, he's deep enough that you're only one leap away into the open with no bubble to get shot in the sky. I leave and shy, and that's exactly what happens. And that really stifles the push. I mean, look at the recent here. Dreamers, they, they've had to stop pushing. Yeah, I mean, Dreamer just wanted to show he can play like Gushway, but unfortunately, it's with the overextension. He gets punished. More time bought, a minute and 20 remaining. Not giving themselves that, lets... that many advantages if they get this cap. Spectre instead off the rip. Shy with the Storm Arrows takes him down. Good pressure applied here onto Monk. Langs is doing his damage to try to peel. The rest of the team piling in, and Monk will not fall. Primal now going to be popped over. He can get juggled into the forest. The sneak dart does not connect, but now the bash comes through as Langsa pops the rally. Around the back side, Shy finds oh, missing. Dragon Strike to clear out from the car. Easy on dead. And the Hangzhou Spark are going to win out the fight. It's less than a minute now remaining. Dreamers, they have to get out of here. They cannot suffer any more losses. Shy's just sneaky dude. He got, he's on 37 HP. Still gets an angle to miss. And I was going to mention before the fight started, the fact that Dreamer gets picked out one fight ago, one full fight ago now, that actually allowed Monk to find a nano in time to match miss and now monk didn't end up using the nano there but it could have been a difference maker in the last fight it will be in the final fight now with less than 40 seconds remaining at 35 here spectra tried to get the early pick on the shy but the pulse bomb will go all right, go all right. leave on the well, other leave. hand though he's been pretty stellar on the pulse bombs it's been noted but Donghun, a regular target of this has that rally it gets canceled early oh it could be a catastrophe but it already is missing taken down gushman just gets on top of him dreamer slept anti dead rally now using desperation the whip shot will be able to find one both of goes out not gonna find that connection not gonna find that kill they're still in such a bad position as they wait for the winston to try to respawn touch has to come through finally do get the contest here with the second remaining they force out the overtime but can they win out from here easy on the focus fire gets taken down monk finding the kill just sniping him down Donghun now dead as well. Two members gone, shy, anti, but no Asleep. threat whatsoever. And they cannot get the touch. They cannot get the cap. They cannot make it to the end. Hangzhou Spark take King's Row, the map pick of Dreamers, away from them. And now are 2-0, halfway to punching the ticket into midseason madness. Yeah, a couple of shaky moments from the Spark there, notably on the C attacking phase. Took them until the OT to finally get the ball rolling towards the actual cap itself. 
on the a side defense as well lost a point very quickly gushroy with the pseudo recontest there into the window gets picked off early in that forces hangzhou spark away from getting any sort of early defense on the archway but where they did manage to defend around the pub around the final choke around the final cap itself on b and once they got that defense rolling it did not stop they never let it go and honestly dude leave played out of his mind on king's row so many good pulse bombs i don't know what the pulse bomb stick percentage is but i do know his pulse bomb efficiency is 0 0.63 which means two-thirds roughly two-thirds of the pulse bombs were good so what i was saying earlier it feels like every second pulse bomb is a stick that stat holds about true an incredible performance from him i mean you say on king's row but it's been both maps so far here from leave he is showing up he is in form and it's a bit of struggle for dreamers to try to contend with him it's a nice value you know spectra getting that double kill off the pulse decent sticks are out but it's just nowhere close to the impact that we're seeing from leave right now Hangzhou Spark seemingly having the upper hand. Map pick again here for Dreamers. They do not want to be forced into a match point, not this early, and then have to pull off a reverse sweep. We'll see where they decide to take us. We do have Escort coming up, but I got a feeling in my gut that says they're going to try to get Kushway out of this lobby. Maybe try to get Leaker back in here, set up for that off tank play, and then try to get a win from there. We'll have to just wait and see, though. But for now, we're going to take a little break, and when we come back, we'll get back into it to see if Dreamers can get that map play.
Hangzhou Spark now holding the lead 2-0 up in this Group A final. Two more maps to go. If they can double up their scoreline, they will punch their ticket to mid-season madness and we'll get to see the Pink Boys here on stage in Korea. Dreamers want to look to turn that on its head. They want to try to get some map wins. They once again have their map pick. It didn't work out for them so well on King's Row, but let's see what they have up their sleeve for Escort. That's not quite match point for the Spark, so opportunity for Dream is to turn this baby around, but things are not looking good because at least previously on Oasis, we were saying, okay, well, the Rhine is not the best look versus the Spark so far, but at least the dive mirror on city center that was pristine that was a great look from dreamers maybe they can continue playing the dive mirror and pull through however and then you get to king's row and it's like man despite the best efforts of i think spectra and easy on who had a lot to say in that particular mirror it wasn't even that we haven't played enough of the tracer uh somber mirror yet but at least in the tracer hanzo mirror easy han had a really good showing that spectra you've already talked about the double pulse bombs etc a lot of fights in there for Spark, despite them being ahead, Dreamers were able to make the comeback. But I think the more concerning thing is the fact that Spark were consistently ahead. That's the concerning thing for Dreamers, where very few times did you see them have the early kill and the 5v4. They were constantly the ones on the back foot having to make the comeback in the turnaround. Well, we can see Kushway still here in the lineup. No changes on the side of the Spark. Let's see what the map pick is going to be and whatnot. Whether or not we have any adjustments, and we do. So Liga is going to be coming through or the side of dreamers here we go this is what i wanted to see yesterday as well I kind of alluded to this this is the tease of the fact that league will be going up against his old franchise i've talked about the fact there's three overwatch league players on here easy hand dreamer and league well what team was league on in the overwatch league he was on the spark and he only played correct me if i'm wrong one map king's row last year i believe was it king's row last year for the spark and that was about it was it the year before that actually yeah, because he didn't play last year. Yes, last year was all Burner and... God, who else was the tank on Spark? Gooshray, there we go. He had, yeah, you had Burner and Gooshray last year and the year before that, you had Liga as well. Speaking of Gooshray, get a little bit, a bit of a look at the King's Row stats. Um, unfortunately, not per 10, but I can give you the per 10 anyway. It's decent. 4,000 damage was actually just below dreamer by about 66 damage so not quite lobby leader interesting that the tanks were the damage leaders there not either of the tracer players who were slightly behind on 11,000 rather than 12,000 hmm. either way a strong performance this way you know aside from the one over extension you know the the uncertainty as to whether or not they wanted to recontest on the a it was fairly clean the whole rest of the way throughout king's row so a very strong gonna, performance uh, from the, the the guy who's just you know kind of just been known as the winston god for quite some time and to add to that i got one extra fact to add on in terms of stat line for gushra that's not on this card but i'll just say it anyway primal rage efficiency 2.0 which means every oh. single primal rage getting at least two kills or just getting two kills the fitting of the primal blade given that uh you know i think the only winston player that can consistently do that every single primal okay he's gonna well, have to face up against liga now on rialto and you know what this is a very diva favored map we had plenty of conversations about that saw that come to fruition yesterday with Harmon piloting the diva to absolute perfection on this map uh which was a huge mistake once more for Otoblast <laughs> to come here to try and match him and Gushray now has to, he's got to come up with something. I don't think Gushray is going to play the DB here at all. He's going to stick on, he's going to stick on the Winston for sure. Yeah. So that's going to have to be an interesting map to navigate. Spark, it seems like maybe they don't want to sub in 20 day, which means even when we get to Elios, if we get to Elios, if that's even chosen on that five, I don't know that Gushray will be subbed out for 20. We will have to see, but if Dreamers can at least unlock a scenario where Bushway becomes the issue for the team just based on composition. That is a winning trajectory and a winning angle for Dreamers to take advantage of. Oh, that I mean, absolutely is. Yes. It's one of the things that we were looking to see from, you know, O2 yesterday. Try to force Hunt onto something that he wasn't going to be feel, uh, feeling too comfortable with. It didn't really happen. Uh, so we go into Rialto once more. Let's see if this is going to be good enough for Dreamers. Like you said, if we want to see that map five, 
they need to pick up either this one or the next. So need to get some wins on the board. Otherwise, this could just end up being a very swift first of four series with Hongjo Spark gliding their way into midseason madness. That's what they yep. want. That's what their fans want. But we want some good old fashioned close battled Overwatch. We'll see if we're able to get that here as again, unsurprisingly, which way on the Winston. I think it's what Liga wants here as well, because if nothing else, regardless of where the dream is, win the match or not in terms of the entire series, Liga will want to win his own individual maps, get his own personal revenge on the Hanjo Spark. Realty will be a perfect map to do that with, but the early sleep down to Liga, putting the pressure on. Yeah, does manage to get the D-Matrix up though, woken up before the Pyo can come through, so not really under threat of being D-Mech to sleep, just pressures out here from the high ground. Jumps over, drops down. Just looking to identify the location all these dreamers menu members and we will have a pause cool that's coming through from the side of dreamers and as we get an update on this we'll, we'll uh keep everybody updated we'll let you guys know we'll what's early, going on we'll get an early peek on on the compositions as well so uh interestingly enough uh, you know yesterday on Rialto between o2 and uh, the dallas fuel we saw some decent widowmaker play Edison had some good shots on the Widow there. Uh, we also obviously saw the Diva on both ends. I don't think we saw that much Sombra, although it's still a pretty friendly Sombra map overall. Sombra certainly will give you the ability to alleviate pressure on the attack. It's easy on the attack towards the back line. Put the pressure on the two supports. Open up your own dive via the Diva and the Tracer. And Spectre's been pretty good today as well. Shy going low, but stays alive and has a nice little stretch lead here towards that EMP. Build it up. 16% oh, left. So low. Yeah, so low, but the help back comes through from Langs up. They keep him sustained. Hope will be first online, it would seem here, over Easy Han by a very large margin. Now does have that at the ready. Just get spotted out. We keeping track of him. Watching him on the rotates. Missing out. Whoa. Take it down. Monk. Find the kill. Now the EMP going to be committed. And it catches the remaining four members. Look at now going to be broken out of the mech. And uh, well, he's got plenty of options to jump off the side. So he will not be staggered. Spectre will be the last man standing as he makes his way back up towards the spot. I mean, it's almost a 5k. Nearly a full team wipe. Spectre the only one alive given that he's a tracer. Shy spots the hack. will back on out. Not allow Easy Han to catch him. And the defense of Sombra getting the nice and early lead. And Hanjo Spark as well, even giving up the high ground. You saw him, the entire team, being forced down to the sort of side grass courtyard. And oh, this could have been bad from there. Nano. On like, so Nano, yeah. Yeah, Hong just keeping Ling alive. And he's going to have that rally as well for an extended fight to try to play against the double support ultimates here from Dreamers. They're likely going to be necessary given that Easy Han does have this EMP at the ready. We'll see what kind of setup he can get. Because for now, slinking around the back, looking to identify their locations. He's been spotted. He got detected there, so he has to reveal. That's unfortunate. Oh. And with that, Lee finds his angle. Yeah, well, we'll keep track of it. That's one pulse bomb, one kill. Let's see what kind of efficiency he comes up with. This league just has to go for a bit of a reset, as well the whole of Dreamers. Yeah. And the other problem is, is right, in terms of this matchup, this should be the issue, but currently it's not, is the fact that in the spy check game, the Diva is way better at spy checking than the Winston is going to be. And sure. even that, Easy Han was still caught anyway. So it wasn't that he just randomly started shooting because that's not what you want to do as a Sombra when you're BMP. He just simply got detected and well, Shy sees the translocator now. Oh. Uh oh. That's awkward. Yep. Hack into a kill. Nice setup there from Missing. Connecting that ever important sleep dart. Can how did, how did Shy get spotted though? I, that's really interesting. Because Shy would have been standing completely still for him to be just eating a sleep dot. Hard to say. EMP Lynch though committed to the fight here from the side of Easy Han, but we're not seeing the follow-up. Liga now going to be slept once more. Feels like Monk has had pretty much 100% accuracy on these sleep darts so far here on this map. Really clean stuff from him. Primal goes out from Gushway. Will be hacked, will be anti, but still not under too much threat. Cart continues to inch Shy forward, time. but only 40 seconds remaining. And yep, there's the EMP. Don't the only one not getting caught by that one. Pops the rally with Missing's already gone. Lee finding the elimination. Now it's about to have yet another pulse bomb. We'll see if we can find a second stick to get that 100% uh, stick accuracy. For now, it's looking to just pressure out Spectre, and he will be able to do so. So Pulse is not even going to be necessary in the fight. Is it just go ahead and clean them up? Yeah, why not save it for the last fight? 20 seconds left to go now, and this is where things get really tricky for Dreamers. Easy Han has not had enough time to build up a EMP at all. There's got to be a nano-only play. Who do they even nano? It has to be Lee. Yeah, oh my goodness. What a kill from Schleave. It's just unbelievable. They can... 
they can't breathe easy at all. Somebody now needs to touch. Spectre goes over it, manages to get the tag in, forces out the OT. Let's see, how do they get out of here? Pulse Bomb this time, not going to be finding anything for Leaf, so then it's going to be a whiff 50% there as Gooshway going to be taking a nap. The Nano goes across, lings it down low. Healing comes in from Monk to keep him alive. Double anti out onto the Missing Miss him, but the damage follow up isn't there to find the eliminations. Cart again, inching forward to keep it contested as Leaf continues to sink around the back off this flank, trying to find a pick. Cart moving forward, contest is there. Gooshway moves up, Primal 19% away from having that contest. Lobin on the nade, which we're going to be anti for the time being. Damage just isn't here. No one's focus firing here on the Winston to try to take him out. Liga now going to be forced out of the mech. Goes in for the self-destruct. Recall from Leaf. Dodges it. Liga gets back in. He's going to be safe for now. EMP going to be committed. Gushway anti primal into the back line. They need the damage. It's easy Han at range trying to deal with him, but Gushway's still alive. He's 2 no HP. Way. He's literally 2 HP. Cut contested, missing dead. Rally rolling from Donghun. He's a lone support alive. Punk gonna be eliminated. Lengs are taken down. This is their opportunity. It seems it was shy dying and not being able to commit the EMP. They can get this cap, but good lord. How did Gooshway live? He's still alive. He's still low HP. Well, still unfortunately, it because because he was so low HP, he was effectively dead though, because he could not go back if there was a fight. No LOS from healers, and you know, worse still for the Hungdo Spark, they couldn't enable the second tank, which would have been Lengsa on the rally. That wasn't quite up. I think Lengsa dies at about 90, high 90s, above 95 for sure there. And Monk, as you can tell, only on 90% towards the Nano here, so couldn't even put the Nano onto Lengsa to enable Lengsa further. With new go no Goose Wayne detection and no second tank on the rally. Shy not able to use the EMP and Hungdo Spark. No defense on A. Shy setting up for the kill. Missing take it down. I don't want him dead as well. They're just trying to exit. Jets over across the bridge and seems like he will be fine. Not enough damage to try to get through that mech. So we'll be able to be a bit of a battery. Try to get missing caught up for that nano. We'll get damn close, but Easy Han's dead again. Wow. Caught by, I believe, Shy there. I don't know if he got hacked or not. But Shy's certainly in the kill feed. Alongside Monk. And that will ruin Easy Han's early Dang. setup, which oh. is important here because he needs to confirm this EMP sooner rather than later. Not allow Shy to catch up, but just in terms of giving Dreamers an ability to play in, he's had one good EMP so far. The one onto the payload in the OT, the previous one before that, not ideal going up the stairs. Spectrum 1 HP survives. Right, the good way, Easy Han forced to translocate out. He's translocating towards spawn rather than into the back line. Doesn't really have that setup right now, it would seem. We're already going on the hunt. They're looking for Shy. They take him down to about half, but they can't pressure him out. So, still stays alive. Well, bring a little bit of damage. It's going to be okay. Decent peel. Gushway immediately arrives to keep him protected. He beat the ready. This needs to be a big one here for Easy Han. Everybody gathered together here on the stairwell. And it is massive. And the follow up is great. Three quick kills instantly found here. Nano does get dumped. So, Gushway still going to be empowered. Still can build up the primal to try to get this extended, but this opt to save it. Knows that they're going to have another fight here before the cart can make it to B. Yeah, you're not going to see a better EMP than that. All members of Spark, it's outside. I think Shy was maybe not there. They were all stacked up on the stairs together. Super easy dive targeting. EMP will connect across the board. Even the Nano coming through is not going to be enough. But this is final fight now, and Dongan dies at 97. Yeah, I mean, the Pulse Bomb was even committed just to ensure that they were going to be able to take him down. Nano now onto Liga, but eventually he's going to have to stump this mech. Opt in. Try oh, to get wow. that self-destruct, but oh no, actually, he just turns around, does find Gushway. Plows through, it's missing sets up for the kill. Now they're in with a pinch, a fighting chance. Pulse Bomb goes in, not going to find the stick. The hack on the follow-up. Spectre taken down. A Shy re-arrives to the fight. Gooshway respawning. Primal at the ready. Shy trying to pressure out Easy Han. Stuck there into the corner. The healing eventually comes through. Stuck. Shy stays alive. Building up. Gooshway anti. Pops the Primal. Looks to just knock him away. They got knocked out of the mech. The self-destruct comes through. Looks for the elimination. Shield raised up. Lengths it keeps it blocked. Everybody's protected. Full 5v5 right now here on this card where the retrievers so desperately need to try to push across the finish line. EMP committed to the fight here, but it's still going to be Hangzhou Spark winning out. They finally, they find Donghun missing, going to be taken down. No take, no support, no touch. And the card will rest just in front of B. Hangzhou Spark now with a very real win condition. Dreamers, so much pressure on them to have a monstrous defense. And to be honest though, I think for Dreamers, a team that nearly got full held on A, this is a really good amount of distance for... Uh, a team that had no time and I, I i they lost a lot of time on b as well you you turn away you look at the game for a little bit you look back at the timer it's like wow we're already less than one minute down super unfortunate and this was the uh earlier situation where oh Sp spectra just blinks into a stun apparently unlucky there 
This moment afterwards, though, there was a moment after that where we saw Shy and not Shy, I believe, got a solo kill into Easy Hunt, I believe. It was 5v4. I think Spark could have just won from there and confirmed the full hold, but they kind of floundered the 5v4 advantage. Easy Hunt eventually respawns. Spark respect the Dreamer squad, and they pull back quite a lot, allowing Dreamers to push forward on the payload. And then Dreamers kind of just edge out the Spark in the fight. Liga still has a self-destruct, gets the remake in there as well. Hushray ends up on 2 HP, runs away, but as we mentioned, despite the miraculous getaway, and he lived the entire way through on 2 HP, still out of the fight, technically speaking, so might as well have been dead. And Spark, just shy of getting the final couple of support ultimates that would have allowed him to have to confirm the 8-point defense, and if the Dreamer's defense is good now, I mean, Hungjo Spark might not even cap, so it is still winnable for Dreamers, but Spark has certainly drawn the line of the sand. And they have been stronger on this... Trace Sombra dive so far. Shy starts on the Hanzo, but I suspect that later on he'll swap. Let's see how they fare. Okay, Liga. <gasps> oh. A cheeky little push through. Damn. Sends him right into the canal. Clearly, Shy cannot swim. Nice That's early open. pick. Yeah. Break down that Hanzo. Delay him. Get rid of that damage. No lunge? Shy must not have a lunge. I don't know. Can't climb out of that river, that canal. Spectre dead. I believe it's a good response, getting the better of him. Shy again, we're gonna get pressured. 13 HP, shield raise, sleep shard. Shielding. Wow. In on to Liga. Yeah, everybody just coming to protect him. He can go alive, he's right back into the fight out. Dolan isolated, pressured out, missing dead. Shy instantly responds with an arrow to the head. As the support's gone, Langs will be traded, but it's still widely the spark. Very much winning the fight with Liga taken down. They'll get this cart yeah. now pushed up into the courtyard. And I don't even think it matters that Lynxer dies there because the respawn distance is so close. Lynx is already up alive. He'll rejoin the team. A short second there. Leave getting the kill into Spectre. And it wasn't a solo because you did see a couple of assists in there as well. Opens up the map. Five versus four. That's what you want to see in terms of Spark having the five versus four. But of course, because the payload was uh, not really moved out of the choke way just yet, there is going to be still one more good fight left. He's at least. trying to set up for the die, but League gets pressured out. They need him to join in. Try to confirm the kill. Pulse bomb lob down. Not going to find the stick. Missing dodges out on the damage. Stay safe for the time being. Spectra around the back line. Trying to find this kill in the shy. The pocketing's just been so damn clean. Nana now out onto him as well. Just to keep him alive. Pulse bomb will find Monk. But Leaf got two. Lengs have got another. And that leaves Liga all on his loan. Somebody doesn't even get the touch to try to keep this card contested. So we'll just be taken out. The cap is there. Four and a half minutes is what they need to chew through. Otherwise, Hangzhou Spark are going to be moving up 3 0. He just gets both supports. I mean, a very cool man on the Liga to try and push forward. Great save onto Shai's Hanzo from Monk nattoing the Hanzo as well. But it's like, while all that's happening, Missin and Dongan just get annihilated single handedly, it seems, by Leave. No assists in that kill feed at all. And Spark get through eight. I mean, look at the time difference. Spark had no issues on that. Yeah, okay. Shy got pushed into an environmental early, but aside from that, it's cool. Okay. EMP goes across. They will find Sh uh, Shy. So it's an initial kill, but Leave is just taking the card. He's just running away with this one. Going for what would be the longest back cap that we've ever seen. It looks like Liga and the rest of the team suddenly getting a sense of this move over, keep it contested. But still four minutes ago, and he got so much distance off that push. And that just ruins the dive as well because they wanted to keep diving forward. They get shy down. They want the support too, but you have to go back for leave. Easy Han trying to get something done to the back line. Ends up getting picked off. Shy finds another missing to be taken out. Dunkin will get one. Dragon Strike, however, cutting off their retreat paths. Rachel will find Gushway, but as long as leave is alive, it does feel possible. Shy dead seems like finally the foothold might be established here for the side of Dreamers. Oh. <laughs> He's going to be taking a nap. Great sleep. That saves Monk's life. Monk would have gone down there for sure. Wow. And now leave in position to Pulse Bomb once again. Even Let's when Spark looks like they're losing their fight, they're not losing too hard. The trades are pretty effective here. The ultimate's look decent for Dreamers, though. That's something they can play with. Once again, Payload's in a good position because Leave was solo pushing that one for a while. Pulse still held Nano out. Gushway getting empowered. Another stick, another kill. Leave gets missing. Donghan taken down. The back line continues to just get bullied out of each and every fight. Going back over, and Liga has to just hold on to the self-destruct, go for a Hail Mary hold. The last few vestiges, the last few meters that they have remaining. The push is coming through, and they're still waiting for Easy the respawn. Easy touch. Has to be. Easy Maybe Spectra. And Spectra, he moves forward. Instantly chunked down to half HP. EMP at the ready. Easy Han, though. 73 health. Has to jump away, and oh. they don't touch! Okay. Oh, they just can't contest! Clearly, the communication falling apart. 
as Ezehan has to leap away. Well, Spectra was not ready, and Liga could not get there in time. Let me put it this way. Spectra was the one touching. He eventually has to recall out of there. You can't, Solar Tracer cannot continue touching for that long. He has to swap with someone like Ezehan or Liga. Liga was too far away. We see Liga coming on in. But he's still making his way through the archway, just not quick enough. Ezehan would have had to have been the next person touching. However, he's pressured out by Gooshway. Gooshway was forcing him back, and Ezehan translocates. He could have run forward, but if he runs forward and he dies, you lose the EMP. And if you lose the EMP, you lose any real ability, I think, in that comeback. Try and get a retake. No EMP, I don't think they win at all. So Ezehan decides to play for his own life. Spectra... I think he even died there. I'm not too sure, but he, in either case, I mean, he had to leave. I can even maybe just check the final moment. Yeah, Spectra died. He straight up died. So if Spectra dies, then what else do you do? He got hacked. He got killed. And as soon as he got hacked and killed, an easy gun translocates away. Liga's not there. No one can touch. Yeah, it happened in the blink of an eye right before the cart rolled through, but you're absolutely right. They dealt with both of the delay tactics. Hangzhou Spark now has set the stage to get a clean sweep in this final to punch their ticket of mid-season madness one more map to go dreamers now this contender squad that was able to take down the number one seed needs to pull off a reverse sweep if they want to be the lone contenders representative at mid-season madness it feels like a far cry hope maybe they can rally back maybe they can make it happen what a story it would be but right now it feels like the Hangzhou Spark have the upper hand at every twist and turn. We'll see if they can start engineering that when we come back. One final map pick for themselves as we get ready to go into push to see if that can make the difference. But don't go anywhere.
And we are back. A reverse sweep is what is necessary now for Dreamers if they want to make it to mid-season madness. Otherwise, Hangzhou Spark is standing on the precipice of punching their own ticket to Korea. One more map is all they need, and they are through. And as we can see here, we are not having any changes whatsoever. They said, yep, this five-man squad works. Gooseway is farming yep. today. So they will just keep rolling with what's been successful. I like it when Leave's not in his chair, because then you can do the Leave left meme. Oh, he looks yeah, up to his name. Now. He leaves. Leave leaves. I had that meme last year. No, it's, uh, no memory in terms of the gameplay, though. 13 final blows, two deaths. Woo. Good. Yeah, missed a few more pulse bombs here than he did on map two, King's Row, but still effective nonetheless. I mean, just couldn't nail them down. Lowest deaths by far. And no surprises, the kill lobby leader, the only person on double digits for final blows. Everyone else is below 10. Next highest is Shy on nine. So, yeah, Lee was kind of blowing everyone out of the water there. In terms of backline pressure, Dongan and Missin both died 10 times. Monk and Lynx are only dying four times each. And that's the difference that Lee and Shy were putting onto that backline. Consistently, Lee was just taking down Dongan and Missin. I mean, you remember the fight where Ang Zhou, they were in a full, I don't know, skirmish fight with Dreamers. And in the background, in the kill feed, Dongan and Missin both just completely dead to Lee's hand as we head into what could be our last map, Coliseo. Eager is subbed out. Dreamer back in. Yep, the captain, the namesake of the squad, coming back through to try to get them on the board to try to pick up a map win at the very least. But, but I mean, we're going to Coliseo. We know exactly what both teams are going to be running as we go into this map. There is no ambiguity to it whatsoever. They looked good. You know, if you go back, you rewind over to City Center, which wasn't too long ago because this has been a fairly speedy series thus far. They, they still do win there, and they do it here on push is the question. Mm. There's still the odd opportunity for... I don't know who would be better on playing this hero, but if it was Harmbin and he'd be playing the Junker Queen for sure, I don't know if Dream wants to go there just yet. There is one way to try and quote unquote counter Gooseway, but no, I think you're right. Just play the mirror once more. It worked for you in City Center on Oasis. Just got to tap into that energy again. I do think this is probably you. Uh, I don't think you you wouldn't have wanted to go to New Queen Street. Esperance is possible. You could have played Ram there. Colosseum ends up being fairly neutral ground for Dreamers. And as you mentioned, we're just going to see the mirror anyway. No Sombra here. I think that's one of the critical factors is at least you take Shy off the Sombra on this map. Even then, though, has found some very good value when it comes down to the Hanzo play. We saw, you know, the pocketing yeah. that was necessary to but keep him alive, and as they do, he was able to find value off the back end of it. I do think Easy Han was better on the Hanzo, so that helps out Dreamers a lot. They're putting Easy Han on a better hero. Okay. Speaking of Easy Han, why do you keep doing this? Oh, I was saying that Shy on the. You know what? You're right. Never mind. <laughs> Well, anyway, good early pick, but a nice bio nade does manage to find three on the side of the Hangzhou Sparks. The Langzhou will be taken down, but the fight is very much still going the way listen, of listen. the Spark. And uh, yeah, the you can, push started. You can take Shy off the Sombra, but as you said, you know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Shy on the Hanzo is still pretty insane, so that's still not great. But I do think this is a better hero for Easy Han because the, the Sombra Tracer was a little bit lacking for Dreamers on the last map. Well, it was still pretty decent on King's Row. Look, King's Row was a map loss, but Easy Han had some good shots on that map. We should say to all of the Overwatch League teams that uh, Avril's comments about players, uh, you can you can purchase them, and he'll say something to either curse another player or to empower your own. Five dollars for friends with several GMs. <laughs> they, they know they have to pay the iron price. All right, well, Bot going to be contested, but it's a good early near 32 meters established here for the side of the Hangzhou Spark. They're just keeping this locked in place, and Leave is going to be able to find Spectra to start things off. Nano now going to go across, false bomb out from Leave, and of course he gets a kill. It's going to be missing, taken down. Two eliminations, Gushui will wake up, Dreamer will do very much the same on the opposite side. Primal is already for both of these Winstons, but with the supports gone, Dreamer doesn't want to commit it, so he has to end up dying to Langza, and the push can continue. This is a really, I mean, okay, we're going to get the pause in. I was going to say, this is a really, really bad start for Dreamers, so that's probably an understatement, given the fact that Dreamers have only got one final blow. Lynx has been the only death so far, and no one else has died. I mean, yep. 
outside of just damage sorry outside of it just kills we talked about shy and easy Han. i mean easy Han hasn't had a lot of chance to even get shots off he's at 485 damage shy is already breaking over 2000 so quadruple the damage coming through from hanzo so far and hangzhou spark has just been pushing further forward leaves already on three final blows he's already got a pulse bomb already got a stick super early on and dream is a dream is fading very quickly you would have liked to have seen a bit more of a competitive start on Colosseo. given that push is very streaky pushes a very momentum based map so game mode so for dream is where we're already over 45 i mean they'll be threatening cap and the yep. next five to ten meters here Gushway pushed quite far forward. Pulse is at the ready. They'll throw that one through, but Gushway wakes up even with the anti, has the primal, so can stay alive. Joins back in with the rest of the team. Going to send Dreamer off the side of the map, but with a primal of his own, that becomes nigh impossible. Dragon strike up over top. Trying to Watch cut them off, and somehow, Easy Han dies to it. He's on the back end of the Dragon Strike, and he just gets maybe knocked into it by Gushway. I don't know. Either way, Dreamer is now going to be taken down. The checkpoint has been established. Gushway. Hitting the floor here after getting slipped midair. It's right back into the fray, looking for some targets. And Langs is going to take down Dolan. Anti out on a bolt of oh, supports man. here on the side of the spark, but it doesn't matter. The push will continue. And Hangzhou Spark, I mean, right now the pace that they're given, the, the, the ferociousness they're playing with, could this end up being a full cap with zero meterage surrendered? Would that be uh, a first? I mean, I mean, we're about to see triple digits, 100 meters online. And by the way, Shy is not even necessarily in all these fights. He's kind oh, of just solo pushing the payload. Dreamer just jumps into a bubble and dies. Every oh. storm arrow. Oh. Just every single What's storm arrow. What's going on? He's just dead. I mean, they're just absolutely. I... There's the hundred, by the way. Just, they want, they're getting body. I, you know, this isn't this isn't inting. This isn't feeding. This is just Hongo Spark ripping them limb from limb. Pulse bomb out from Spectre. Not going to be able to find the stick. Which we're now going to be nailed up going into the back line here alongside Lee, oh who has another pulse bomb stick. And once again, it's going to be over on a missing. They find the elimination. Dragon Strike to try to clear out the bot. Dreamer tags it. Stops the push for a brief little moment, but they're straight back into it now. 112 meters left to go. Dreamer anteed out. Easy Han going to be burned down. Gushway finding the kill. Finally, Spectre will be able to find an elimination. Healing, getting rid of Shy, alleviating quite a bit of pressure, quite a bit of damage. But Gushway's got another primal. He's taken down Dong and He's going to be slept, but the damage is already dealt. The anti is not available. He's going to wake up, and he's right back into the fight. Oh my goodness, Missing nearly dies there, dies there. Anyway, Gushway's still alive. Barely. Get Spectre. Dies though. finally. That, that might be it. That might actually be. The one kill, the straw that breaks the camel's back, that's the one important one for Dreamers. They're still plus one. They have here. respawn advantage here, but it's 128 meters. And Dreamer's dead. He cannot get that primal online. Lead manages to hound him down. He doesn't break line of sight. He's getting tagged up by Monk. He ends up falling. The bot for now out of control of the side of the Hangzhou Spark as they wait for these respawns to come through, but they have that forward spawn. They have had this forward spawn for quite some time. So they are back and they're going to keep it locked in position on the high ground. Yeah, dude, did you see Groose Rage just come through the window there? Instantly contest the payload again and. We'll see if they want to really play through here. This is a bad position for the spot, by the way. You don't want to be in this corner. Okay, it is. Inspector does manage to make take advantage of it. Finds the pulse bomb stick across on to Monk. Lengs are going to be cleaved down by Dreamer as well, who did get that second primal rage. Smacks Shy down. They find some kills, and it looks like finally Dreamers can get themselves on the board. That was definitely some disrespect coming through from the Hangzhou Spark. I mean, teams do not really ever plan that sort of positioning on this map for good reason. You can see why. And Spark overstayed their welcome. They wanted to stick around and contest when really they should have said 128. That's more than good enough. Give it up. Play back in the neutral. Gushray respawn. Let's just play into, into the concourse. Let's play in the mid map instead. I tried a little bit too hard to stay in control on the payload on the high ground. But uh, yeah, Dreamers have much superior positioning there. And finally, Dreamers will win a fight. Spectre taken down. Leave again with an opening kill. He's got another pulse bomb in his pocket. Shy going to be anti out. Dreamer does manage to pursue in. Finds that elimination. And oh, he was looking at Dreamer. Turns and gets that stick. And then still manages to take him down at the end. I thought that one was going to, to Dolan either way. Gets the kill. Someone was getting it. The cleanup comes Someone through. was getting it. Did that pulse and now to Dolan? Watch oh, that back in slow mo. Dreamer, Maybe. Dreamer, Dreamer, Dreamer could have done a get down president maneuver there, I think, possibly. Someone was going to get it. Someone was dying to that pulse for sure. And uh, you'll be pleased to know that Lever's still maintained his 1.0 efficiency so far. So hasn't missed the pulse bomb and the payload. Instantly shoved right back in Dreamer's territory. And Cap should once again come through once more to enable the forward spawn. Although Spark really don't have to try that hard for the rest of the map. Back into the bad position. Shy again. Antidote taken low, but the Dragon Strike finds another elimination. 
Gushway gonna be slapped. They wake him up. Dreamer taken down. Gushway manages to exit back to the low ground. And he's immediately right back up on the high ground, setting up the kill on the missing and actually taking it for himself. Leave just burns down Easy Han, sitting right at his shoulder. Guns to the head. He just executes him. It's what a headshot. Sure disappears. They're about to finish the map. Oh my goodness. Dragon Strike now crashing across. Dreamer can't live, man. Trying to he keep them live. off this spot, but yeah, I don't know. They're going to be able to push it through to the end. No one else can contest it. They get such little meterage, and the Hangzhou Spark will not be denied. They set themselves up. They got into this group a final, and they will sweep their way into midseason madness. Yeah, you look at the face of the Dream as they're dejected, and I don't blame them, and that is a tough loss. They kind of beat everyone's expectations to make it this far. I mean, I constantly talk about the fact that their journey into this knockout bracket seemed like a miracle to start with. In every sense, dreaming their way through. I mean, they barely even made it into the open. They had to play through last chance qualifiers versus Team Diamond to even make it this far. And they are the contenders team that got the greatest amount of distance. It wasn't Poker Face. It wasn't O2 Blast. Still plenty to be proud of for the Dreamer squad. But I think when you mentioned that even if Dreamers were to lose, if it would be good to see them take a couple of maps, maybe make it a bit more competitive. Given that they did beat the, the Guangzhou Charge, you would have expected a little bit more out of Dreamers today, but I had a funny feeling, man. Spark, I'm making that real, I don't even want to say a comeback because I feel like Spark were always kind of good, but just a hot and cold team, right? And today, man, boiling hot, scorching hot, 4-0, perfection in the gameplay. Unfortunately, the dream is dead, but again, I think we have to give them a lot of credit for getting it, you know, making it this far. Everybody would have said, no, not that team. They barely made it to begin with. They're going to just get bodied. So what a run from them. They definitely deserve applause. Yeah. But Shai is going to be our player of the match. Really quickly, just because I want to touch up on this before we get into talking about Shai, and I will talk about Shai. Lean finishes Coliseo with a perfect KD. 10 final blows, zero deaths. Obviously, the, the lobby leader at 10 final blows, but didn't die at all the entire way through and maintained a perfect 1.0 pulse bomb efficiency. Now we can talk about Shai a little bit. Shai's Hanzo really did a lot of work today. We start to see that on King's Road, obviously, where the Hanzo came on through. The Sombra was still as good as ever. Um, and yeah, that's about all he played today. That's all he really needs to play. And Leave only played one hero anyway, so that's not an issue. But um, I think Shai, over the course of not just this game, but also the reverse sweep versus the Gondra Charge, starting to prove that, first of all, the Hanzo Spark have more looks than just the Trace Sombra. But beyond that, Shai is not only incredibly competitive on the Hanzo, he's one of the better Hanzos. In fact, in the post-match interview, I believe, from that reverse sweep, sweep, he was saying that he could be the best Hanzo in Apex. I mean, numbers like these, performances like these, kind of hard to deny. But obviously, time will tell. We'll see how he fares against some international competition over at Mid-Season Madness. I'll pull back the curtain a little bit. I went for Leave. I thought Leave's impact was just so overwhelming the whole way throughout. You know what? But this is such a back scary. Even further, we were the only ones that went for Leave, apparently. So it's, there's there's that. Yeah, we, we opted <laughs> for it. But we're, we're with you guys if you're out there uh, saying, why isn't Leave getting this? But I mean, as a duo, they are so terrifying. And when we when we saw it the announcements, when we knew that Leave was, was joining into this team uh, after the collapse of Chengdu Hunters, we're like, oh, good Lord. That is really scary. And, you know, they have had their dips. They have had their moments where Leaf isn't in his, his, you know, MVP form. But across their last couple series, they have both been so on point. It has been terrifying. And, you know, if you're one of those, uh, one of those NA teams that's going to be qualifying, coming over here to South Korea, you best be ready. You best dodge that, uh, that jet lag because... It's not a very yeah. long fight for these guys. So I think that they're going to be really well tooled, really well rested, and looking to prove a point. They're getting to learn Korean buddy as we speak, as uh, I'm sure they'll enjoy a lot of that. Um, and huge for the ex Chengdu members on the squad as well, because they, uh, even in 2021, they didn't get to go to any, or well, physically, they didn't get to go to any internationals. They played in plenty of the Hawaii events in 2021. Uh, last year, Chengdu obviously went nowhere. So for. Yeah. You know, the guys like Leave and uh, and Monk and you know, Lengsa, who was on Chengdu ages ago, they never really got to do too much. And in terms of Shai and Gushui, they at least got to go to the playoffs. And once again, they'll be heading over towards a playoff of some sort as we get ready for our interview 
uh, which I believe is actually with leave instead of shy, but uh, we'll find out who it is at the end of the day as we get to take a look at where Spark are looking forward to going into the midseason madness, which they're confirmed for now. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and we'll jump into the interview, see who we're talking with, and ask them a couple questions and see what uh, how they feel. So I'm just waiting for us to dive in, and here we are. Okay, so we've got Evelyn, of course, standing by for translations, but hello, leave. Ni hao. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Uh, I mean, off the rip. Oh, you go. Sorry. Yeah, you go. Yeah, off the rip. You're not qualified for midseason madness. You're going to get to play in front of a crowd, you know, on land here in Korea. How do you feel about the win? 好的，恭喜离开选手和杭州闪电队获胜。第一个问题是，嗯，晋级季中赛了，终于能够在粉丝面前点打进下赛，想问现在的心情如何？呃，现在心情肯定还是很开心。对，因为我们抢七其实之前打的很少，然后胜率也很低嘛。呃，抢四抢四，那 BO 七，呃，那这次 BO 七赢了，还是很开心的。Yeah, I of course I'm really happy now. I'm really happy now. Um, we didn't play much of like first two, four matches before, and we didn't perform well in series like that. So it's really good that we won today. I was going to ask, um, things started to slow down a little bit for the Hangzhou Spark in week two and week three of the qualifiers where they lost 0-3 to both the Guangzhou Charge and also the Seoul Inferno. But it seems like now in the knockouts, especially with the reverse sweep versus the Charge, they're starting to come back in. So what is what has mostly changed for the team between that time of losing 0-3 to now coming back and qualifying for midseason? Um, in the qualifier 二第二第三周的时候，能看到队伍的整体表现还不是特别好，输给了广州队和令狐。但是在这两周的 no cuts 里面，又看到队伍的表现非常好，就先是三比二这样让二追三广州冲锋，这次又是四比零干脆利落拿下 dreamers。想问一下队伍们，是在当中做了一些怎么样关键的调整，能够让自己的状态回升的呢？呃，用两个字来概括的话，就是悟了，对我们悟了。很明显，这是四比零，我们悟了。对。嗯、um, ，I want to make it simple, like just one sentence is that we got it. We really got it, like how we should play and play well. So that's why we can make it this far and look at that and make it look more easier than before. Oh, short and simple. Uh, I want to know, you know, were you surprised, that, you know, or how surprised were you to see that Dreamers had been able to take down Guangzhou Charge? Because I think, much like us, I would expect that the team was expecting to have that uh, that battle against them once again. Um, so, what was your reaction when you saw that Dreamers was able to qualify into this final? Um, yesterday, Dreamers 这样战胜了广州冲锋队，好像是一个相当爆冷的事情。想问一下。嗯，看到他们赢的时候，心情是怎么样的？是不是本来大家期待的就是打广州，结果变成了打 Dreamers？ 呃，其实说实话，我觉得 Dreamers 应该会赢，对，因为他们一路升上来状态很好。那打广州的话，他们那天的发挥也特别棒。当然，也不是广州很弱，但 Dreamers 确实挺厉害的，对。And、to be honest, I was like expecting Dreamers to win yesterday, cause I can see that team like with a good tempo with their winning strike, um, in this series. But、uh, I'm not saying Guangzhou is being bad. It's just Dreamers played really well today, and they are the better team. Uh, yesterday, yesterday. Yeah, I want to ask about um, you know, sort of the the differences between uh, Leaves team last year and this year in terms of the fact that. On Chengdu last year, it seemed like,、um, you know, he and Monk together were kind of more in a struggling situation, and and now that on the Spark together, things have have improved a lot. So, what are the kind of key differences between moving between Chengdu and Hangzhou this year, aside from just gaining new teammates? Um, 那么下一个问题是想问一下关于去年看到离开选手和 Monk 选手，嗯，也还打的有点正，然后今年来到杭州之后。表现一下子感觉变得好了非常多，想知道中间有什么比较重要的变化吗？就不只是有了新队友之外的，其他的变化有没有？嗯、呃，我觉得新环境肯定还是一个一个对我来说是一个挑战吧。对，因为新环境、新队友的话，需要很多的磨合什么的。但好在我们的
，因为全华班嘛，对沟大家沟通没有问题，所以我觉得我磨合的也相对比较丝滑。Um, it's definitely a great challenge to come to a new environment and teammates. But I think the big factor is we are all Chinese, and it's really smooth to get everyone like have new synergy and have new communication ways. I had a follow up there as well, Seth, real quick, um, and that sure. is to also ask about how Lee feels about、um, his performance now in 2023. Especially compared to his MVP performance in 2021, if he feels like he's improved since then, or or maybe things、um, have been mostly the same, maybe a little bit worse, and how he feels in terms of the difference between his performance in 2021 during the MVP season versus now. Um, I want to ask, when the player comes out with his MVP performance and his 2021 MVP performance, what do you think is better for his MVP performance? Uh, I think it's definitely this year. Yeah, because 六五六和五六五首先是不一样的嘛，然后肯定人都会越来越厉害，对，所以我觉得，嗯，我个人认为是今年。Yeah, I was, I was think like this year I have better performance. One is because um the game, the Overwatch two, and it's different from Overwatch, and we have like different gameplays, and of course I think we are always improving ourselves when. When the time goes by, so yeah, I think I became a better player than I was in 2021. Okay,、uh, well, one last quick question,、uh, and then we'll let Leave go so he can celebrate with the with his team.、Um, is there, like, in particular, one of the North American teams that you are looking forward to playing against? Somebody that you want to to fight, you know, face over at Midseason Madness? 嗯，那么最后一个问题是，马上就季中赛要面对到西部的队伍了吗？想问一下。有没有最期待对阵的队伍或者选手？最期待的队伍肯定还是君临、君临和神枪手这两个队伍。利普吧，对我一直觉得利普之前在东部就特别厉害，然后这是他去西部了嘛？今年，但他季中争霸赛会跟他一块打，我觉得很期待，对，很期待。On the teams I'm aiming to fight against definitely Brian and Outlaws, cause they are both like really strong teams. And the player I want to play against most is Lip,、uh, is Lip, um, cause we all know Lip is a really good player. And this year he comes to he go to West side, and I'm happy like to really have, to to really, um, have the chance to play against him, um, in Messi the Madness and see how he improves, um, than last year's. Okay, I lied. I have one last little quick thing before we let him go. Um, there's a lot of people who say, like, you know, NA is a 